Hello everyone, this is DW96 from GroovyPost.com and today I'll show you the new perspective crop tool in Photoshop CS6. Now before we begin, you can find these two images in our full article, links in the description below. Now to get started, you can find the perspective crop tool right under the context menu for the regular crop tool and after you select it from there, you can start out doing exactly what the perspective crop tool is made for, combining the two tasks of fixing a distorted perspective and cropping at the same time. Now I'll start off with this image here. First of all, I'll drag out a rectangular-like selection. Then I'll position the corner anchor points right at the corners of the image, rather of the sign here. And uh, by doing this, we'll tell Photoshop exactly at what kind of perspective the image was taken. And a small tip, you can get these uh, middle anchor points and drag them up or down uh, to increase the portions of the image which will stay inside of your crop. And if you're happy with the way your crop looks like, you can press this small check mark on the top and your image will be cropped. Now we can see that uh, the tool did a pretty good job but uh, in some images you may find that the image will be slightly distorted rather stretched out and there's a very easy solution to this. First of all make sure you're not working with a background layer and if you are double click on it and choose OK on the newly appeared dialog to transform it into a regular one. Then press Ctrl plus T on your keyboard and while holding Alt plus Shift drag your image in from the middle anchor points. Now additionally you can also grab the regular crop tool and crop out the empty area and you have yourself a brand new and nice fixed image. Now I'll also show you another demonstration with this stop sign here. Uh, instead of dragging out a rectangular selection you can also click a single time uh, every time you want to define one of the four points for defining the distortion in the image. So just like this you can see that I made the grid pretty quickly and again I'll just adjust these points to make sure it's as perfect as possible and I'll drag out a small area from the bottom and a slightly big area up here at the top and uh, since I'm happy with this I'm going to press the check mark here above and you can see this time there's definitely a noticeable distortion so I'll just repeat the same thing that I did with the previous image like so and now as for this uh, leftover part right over here we can use the uh, content aware fill option which you are obviously familiar with uh, all the way back from CS5 now clicking OK you can see that filled in the spot very easily and that's just about it so the perspective crop tool is very useful and although it's a small addition it's a great addition to CS6 thanks for watching this tutorial and keep it locked on to groovypost.com for more tutorials just like this one